Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to change the quartering of the front engine wheels so that they're not in synchronization with the rear engine wheels. On the Broadway Limited newest release, which is in this case is the 4014, the drivetrain is driven by one motor to two gearboxes, and so the wheel sets stay synchronized the way they come from the factory. Now, as some of my YouTube viewers pointed out, uh, as the big boy ran, they noticed that the drivers were always in sync, even when the sound went out of sync. And so I really hadn't noticed that up until they pointed that out. I decided to alter the timing on the engine, and I had some people ask how did I do that and if they if I would do a video on how to make that happen. So that is what this video is going to accomplish. And so the first thing you want to do is if you notice when I stopped the locomotive on the trap, we stopped it with the rods in down at the lowest position. And then what we're going to do, and it really doesn't matter it'd be what your preference is, but we're going to open up the front engine we're going to remove the bearing support and then we're going to change the quartering of the front engine compared to the back engine and then we will reassemble. So the first step you need to do just to have be able to determine how the front engine looks relative to the back engine again is to stop with the rods down, whistle is pretty fragile and if you're not careful you'll catch it on your dolly and that will not be good so we have one two three screws and that is all that fastens the bearing support or the floor plate to the locomotive Living dangerously here. One thing to notice is you've got two brass shims that go under the front wheel set bearing. Want to make sure you don't lose those. Okay, so now what we've done is we've turned the locomotive so we can see the rods here. So what we're going to do is just lift gently and turn this wheel set. And in this case, what I'm trying I want to accomplish is I just want the wheel set to be 90 degrees opposite. Uh, the other one so this one is at the three o'clock position now this one rock the bear I'm rocking the wheel set back and forth to make sure the teeth on the gear main gear is meshed and we're at the noon position so noon three o'clock so we basically got a 90 degree offset so quite honestly that's all you have to do to uh, change the quartering of it while you're in here if this is your first time in might be a good time to grease the gears and the axles I've already had this engine apart so that has already been accomplished so then what we do is we take our floor plate drop it back into position oh one of the things to make sure of the, the bearings are square and you just want to make sure the flat is facing towards the floor plate. So retighten the three screws. Whoops. And the magnetized screwdriver does work. Too good in this case. And then when you finish, 
just rock the driver that has the gear on it to make sure the gear is still meshed. So we have accomplished our offset, and now then we will take it to the back shop and uh, roll it out to pull a train, and let's see if we can tell the difference. 